Mike Murdoch again. It's already seven o'clock tonight on this favor Friday. And I felt stirred to talk to you about joy. Joy must be purposeful. It must be something you value. And what brings you joy may not bring someone else joy. Joy needs to be authentic, which means unique to yourself. Let me give you an example. I love books. I've written hundreds. I love holding in my hand. I've read every word that Ronald Reagan ever said when he was president. I read Hillary Clinton's book called What Happened When She Lost the Presidency to Donald Trump. I read Donald Trump's book, The Art of the Deal. I read Barack Obama. He's just one of the most precise, easy-talking men in the world. I could go down the list. I read everything that, every book Billy Graham ever wrote, especially his book on angels. I read Warren Buffett's book. I don't remember the name of it, but inside it's the five rules of money. Fascinating. He was worth 40... I think it was 47 billion at the time. I read Bill Gates' book, Business at the Speed of Thought. One sentence in it changed my whole ministry. I'm a learner. I'm a learner. What you don't read, you will never, never, never know. What you don't read again and again, you will always, always forget. Let me mention something to you while I'm at it. There was a company called Evelyn Woods. Evelyn Woods Speed Reading Course. I don't know if she's still alive or they still have it. I went, it was a six-week course. At the end, they gave me a test and my test ended with 90%, almost 100. And uh, they said I could read 3,400 words a minute. Same amount as John F. Kennedy, a former president. He was a speed reader. I wanna say something to you. Unless you hear about something, you will stay blind your whole life. I'll be 78 years old in April, the 18th. I want to send you some birthday books as my gift to you. Probably the only guy in the world who gives away gifts on his birthday, but that's my style. What you don't know about is devastating. One man, my father was a pastor, pastored 63, 64 years, built seven churches, but never told me about interpreting the prayer language back to yourself. Only one man on the earth ever told me that it was Will Roberts. The pastor of the largest church in the world, David, Paul, Paul Young Cho, I think was his name, finished preaching to 3,400 preachers at the uh, Tulsa at Oral Roberts. Brother Roberts walked over to me and he put his arm around me. Brother Mike, come with me. And he brought me to his private office and said, I want to tell you the greatest secret about the Holy Spirit God ever taught me. And he began to tell me something nobody on earth 
has ever told me. Stay with me here. He didn't go to the preacher at one million church members in So Korea. He came over to me. The most successful preachers in the world, Lester Sumrall, Morris Cirillo, but he walked over to me. Let me just say this in closing. When an uncommon person wants to talk to you, dance, shout, praise God. When someone extraordinary recognizes your difference and likes what's in you, praise God for the rest of your lifetime. I remember I was teaching on the Jim Baker show in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was like 35 years old. And the brother-in-law of Billy Graham walked in. He was a CPA. He looked over at me and says, Brother Mike, Billy said to tell you hello. He sure loves your music. And I says, Billy Graham? He said, yeah, he watches you every time you're on here. I said, Billy Graham doesn't know me. He said, oh, he knows you more than you think. Donald Trump looked across the table, six feet from me, pointed his finger, and he says, I watch you every time you are on television, every minute that you teach. And I went at a shock. He's worth $10 billion. He was about to run for the president of the United States. And every time he saw me, he rushed past the FBI agents that were his security guards. And he'd rush over and tell everybody to take our picture together. He always has his thumb up. That's his kind of thing. Donald Trump, then he wrote me a note. If he became the president, would I move to Washington, D.C. and be on his 15-member board to think about the United States with him? Somebody knows your value. Somebody sees your goodness. Somebody discerns your difference. You're four people away from anybody in the world. I got another story to tell you. I hope you watch me every day at 11 o'clock on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. 11 o'clock Texas time, Monday through Friday. I'll be back right now.